Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and tonight I've got a short video to help a viewer and probably a few viewers. <clears throat> He's having trouble with his snapper. He said when, he, when I start it, it runs wide open and I can't slow it down. I said grab onto the governor lever and see if that's working. He says that slows the engine down. But he says, I'm going to have to pull the carburetor and clean it. Well, this is a uh, carburetor off a snapper engine. <coughs> and what, first thing you want to do, if you don't want to pull the carburetor off and check, is pull off your air breather assembly. So typically it's a black plastic box that bolts on to the front of the carburetor. And then... This is your choke butterfly, and this one back here is what accelerates your engine. The farther this opens, the more air rushes through and picks up fuel and makes the engine run faster. Well, two of them got back with me. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had six people get a hold of me and ask me what's going on with my engine. Two of them has got back with me and said I pulled the carburetor off to clean it and I noticed something missing. The rear butterfly that controls the speed of the engine, the screws worked out and the butterfly fell out of place. Now where's the butterfly? <laughs> They didn't tell me where they found it or if they found it, but they did find one of the two screws. This one only has one screw. One of the screws was laying on top of his piston. Well, it was kind of stuck in the top of his piston. The other screw, he said he can kind of hear something rattling in the muffler. So that must have went through the exhaust valve and out into the muffler. I don't know where he found his butterfly if he did. Now my father-in-law has had the same issue. His comes out a couple times on him. And his was stuck in the top of his piston when it got sucked in through the intake. The piston came up and crushed it between the top of the piston and the head. Uh, both of them had dents and impressions of a screw. <laughs> so <clears throat> he pried it off. He got some new screws and uh, Loctited them in there. Hopefully that'll take care of the problem. On this one, and, and most of these carburetors, the, up here to top, underneath the shaft, and in the bottom under this shaft, the shaft spins in a bushing, and then bushings can get worn out, and so can the shaft. To replace that, you take the screw out and the butterfly out, and the shaft pulls right out the top, if you ever need to do that. But the easiest way to do if you don't want to tear your whole engine apart to check this is, like I said, take off the black molded housing for your uh, air filter. Get yourself a flashlight and a mirror because typically these carburetors are behind. Let me wiggle you over here. They're behind part of the frame that holds the gas tank. So you can't just look down the carburetor. Get yourself a, a mirror and a flashlight and look down through there and see if you can see the backside of your butterfly. If it's there, then you probably have an issue with the springs that are hooked to the uh, carburetor or the governor itself. Now these springs, I have had them go bad on me because they're getting hot from the engine, they're close to the side of the block, and then they cool, they get hot, they lose their temper, and then they lose their stretch. And that's what keeps this thing running properly. 
Now there's also, if you look right here, there's also a spring there that keeps this shut. You can see the leg of it sticking down over here. I've had them break and to replace them, again, you have to pull out your butterfly and pull your shaft out. Slide the new spring on the shaft and slide the shaft back in. But make sure you put some good uh, Loctite. I would use the uh, permanent stuff to make sure that screw don't come out. And that's about it. Um, I think it was Ron that got a hold of me today with this same issue. Uh, typically, I've never really had these things come loose on me. Uh, like I said, my father-in-law's has fell out twice. And I've had six people get a hold of me within the last month with this same issue. So it's going to be short and, well, not so sweet for some of us, but <laughs> tis life. And uh, as we all know, this is just a big mechanical machine and they all break down. So if you have any questions or comments, put them in that little box below or send me an email and I answer them all. Uh, I sent a viewer a comment tonight that said, I answer all my emails within one or two days. If you sent me an email and it's three or four days, send it to me again because I probably lost it. <laughs> but all the comments in the boxes below and every email I read and answer. Now, on my phone, I've had some comments. I've sent just a thumbs up or thanks, something, anything to answer a comment. Um, not necessarily a question. But when I get an email, oh boy, that's really glaring. You can see this email, you can see his name, and there's no arrow behind that email. There is on all of these. These That little arrow means I returned an answer to that email. And that's how I keep track of all these emails and make sure I answer them all. <clears throat> so if I answer your email and you send me something that says, Thanks, I got it fixed. I'm going to reply to that so I know that it's not an email waiting for an answer to a question. So if you get something like that, just ignore it. <laughs> I don't know. But that's how I do my emails, so I make sure I answer every one of them. Because I know you guys out there... Well, right now, where I am in Michigan, it has been raining like crazy forever. But I know a lot of you guys out there are waiting to cut your grass. You're waiting to fix your machine. And I don't want you to be waiting on me for an answer. So I get on these things and I get back to you. So today, it's just about this carburetor. This was kind of a difficult answer to give him in an email. So I told him I'm going to make a video on it and I'm going to upload it. This is Tuesday. I'll be uploading it Wednesday morning at work because my internet here just is bad. <laughs> With this new camera in high definition, I tried to upload a video once here and it told me it was going to take 40 hours. So I run down to McDonald's if it's on a weekend. I buy myself a drink. Yes, and it's Coke because they don't sell Pepsi. <laughs> and I sit there for 10 minutes and upload the same video. It takes 40 hours here. So, this is, like I said, Tuesday. I'll be uploading this Wednesday morning. I go into work early and I do it there. So I hope this helps out. If you're having issues with your 
uh, machine running weird, I would check that. Because you don't want to suck that stuff in where it's going to jam something up in the engine and really cause issues. So, don't forget to subscribe. I really need subscribers. <clears throat> and uh, remember to work safe, have fun, and keep on snapping. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. So long.